Hey guys, Tara here. If you want to see how I achieve this look, just stay tuned. So I always start off with my brows, first creating a line underneath. And then I'm gonna go in and create a line at the top. Once I start the line at the top, I'm not going to start directly at the beginning. I always start towards the middle, right before the arch on the brows. It just gives a more natural look and I just like it that way. After you create your lines, you're just gonna feather the product up, not going into any more product. We're just gonna feather the existing product that we have up. And we're gonna go over to the same other side and do the same exact step. After you complete that, you're going to go in with the concealer and clean up any of the mistakes that you made. So during that process, you can do create many mistakes as you want. You're always going to go in with the concealer to fix and clean up everything. So we're going to do the exact same thing to the opposite brow. Also, um, I like to use a concealer lighter than me. Sometimes I'll go in over the top with the concealer my exact shade. Other times, I just do a lighter shade because it it seems like it makes your eyebrows sharper once you go in like that. So I'm just gonna do that here. Now, what you see here is actually a product that I'm working on. It's a primer I'm thinking about creating. I've been using it for a while and it's really good. I can't wait to introduce it to you guys. Now I'm just going so now I'm just going to go in with my Makeup Revolution eyeshadow primer. It's in a white base. We're going to put a little bit on and we're going to blend it out. The eyeshadow palette that I'm using is a Vanity Cosmetics palette that has yet to be released. Let me know if you guys like it. I'll figure out when I want to release it. So we're just going to go in with a red shade of the palette. And we're just gonna put that all over the eyelid, pack it on as good as possible because the red is going to be the center of our look. So once we do that, we're gonna go over to the next eye and do the exact same thing. Once both eyes are completely packed with the red, we're gonna go in with the orange shade. And we're just gonna put that right on top or right in the crease area, we're gonna blend that out. Make sure it's really in there, really good. Once you begin putting the orange on, it kind of blends the red out itself. So don't mind that I did not blend the red out completely. We're gonna use the orange to do that for us. And remember, we're gonna go from one eye to the next. Next, we're gonna go in. It's like a brown reddish shade, and we're just gonna put that right in the middle. Middle, what the hell? <laughs> we're gonna put that right in the middle of the orange and the red. Once we're finished, we're ready to cut that crease. I started off this look creating um, a halo. I'm not sure why I cut my crease like this. I, I'm i really not sure I can tell you, but we're going to cut the crease using the same Makeup Revolution white base. We're going to do the same thing to both eyes. I like to go in sections cutting my crease because I'm not that good and I, my hands is not that precise with it. So I like to go in sections. Once we are finished cutting the crease, we're gonna go back in with those same eyeshadows, starting off with the red. And we're just gonna begin packing that red back on to the end of the eye, and we're gonna to go to the very beginning of the eye. Now we're trying to create the halo look with the shadows. We want the red really concentrated and really popping towards the end and the center for this look to be as awesome as it is. <laughs> okay, so at this point, my 
camera stopped filming and I did not know so I went on and created the rest of the look what I did was just using the same colors packing them all the way to the center and get this pretty little effect however I did at a pop of yellow right now what you see me doing is applying glue um, to the center of my eye and I'm applying glitter just to the center portion where I added a pinch of yellow to lay the Vanity Cosmetics Glimmer in the color Neon on top. This is going to basically add as an accent color to this look and it's really going to make it pop. So we're going to do the same thing to both eyes. So adding the glitter, it kind of removed a little bit of the color out of the look. So I'm just going to go back in with a little bit of that orange to replace it. Starting off with a wing liner. This step is so tedious and yeah, so you're really going to have to take your time. I really haven't mastered the whole eyeliner <laughs> technique yet. But we're getting there. But you're really gonna have to take your time and really pay attention when you're doing this. Yeah, so I start off small creating the wing. And as I go from eye to eye, I compare and see, do I want the wing more dramatic? Do I wanna add a little more? Just get it as close to your liking as possible without getting eyeliner all over your look. Once you've completed the eyeliner, you're gonna go in, at least I like to go in with the concealer shade and just kind of clean up the edge just so you can get the perfect clean wing liner. So go back in as much as you feel necessary until you get the desired wing that you want. Okay, I think I got mine, so I'm just gonna throw a little mascara on before I apply my lashes. Excuse my lash, I kinda overdid it with the glue, but that's okay. I'm gonna go back and, and fix it. So now we're gonna start off with the I Am Magic Julius Place foundation. I'm just gonna put a couple of dots on my face because a little goes a long way. A little goes a long way. So we're just gonna add those couple of dots and just gonna blend it out as much as possible. The color um, that I am, I use Lagos, but I noticed as I went on vacation, I got a little darker. So, I think I'm going to go back and I'm going to get, uh, I believe the shade is Burkina. I'm thinking I'm more of a Burkina now that the summer is here. So, yeah, you're going to blend that all over until you have perfect finish. I really love this foundation, by the way. But, to highlight and contour, I'm going to go in with my... Makeup Revolution Fast Basic Foundation in the shade F13 and F15. I'm going to put that all in the center of my face to highlight. And of course, the F15 is going to go in all the areas where I contour. So yes, guys, I still have not fixed the glue on my eyeliner. So don't, don't worry about it. I'm going to fix it at the end. It's all going to come together. The F13 is like the perfect highlighting shade for a natural look. But of course, I'm extra. And um. I'm probably not gonna just keep it that way. I might go in with another color.
concealer shade. I'm not sure. We're going to see how it finishes off. With a wet sponge, we're just going to go in and blend. Blend everything out. Blend everything together. I like to start off with the highlight color first blending out and then i like to go in with a separate beauty blender so we're basically going to fold our beauty sponge to the opposite side where it's clean and we're going to use the edge of the fold to basically contour our nose it really gets a really good blend for our nose contour we're gonna go back in, I believe it's a 109 MAC brush, and blend out the contour all over the place. I really like this brush um, for contouring. This is probably the only thing I ever use it for, because I feel like it's the perfect fit for my face. And at this moment, I thought I was gonna set, and then I changed my mind. I wanted to go back in with a concealer. I'm gonna use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn just to brighten up the under eye. It was not dramatic enough for me, so I'm gonna go back in with one of my favorite all-time concealers and just add a little bit more just to make it to my liking. You don't have to do this step if you don't want to, but I'm going to. Just gonna add a little bit under the eyes on the bridge of the nose just to make the center of the face pop. I really wanted a really dramatic highlight because of the blonde hair. So I really wanted the highlight to show and I kinda wanted the eyes to add some type of oomph to this hair, honey, because this blonde is so giving me life. But once that is finished, we're finally ready to set. That powder that I showed you previously is actually a mixture of powders of, that I like personally. And um, I just threw them together. It's a translucent powder. Um, and also it was, I want to say it was a Ben Nye powder in Topaz. And I just mixed the two. So now, so I like to go that. in with a warmer powder first and just buff that into all of the areas where I highlighted. And then I'll go back and with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder and I bake with that. I don't bake often. I've Lately, I've been just buffing in powder and I like that finish better. But today, since we're going dramatic, we're going to do both. I like to set my eyebrows with powder also. For one, I have blonde hair, so it kind of draws out the darkness of the eyebrows. And for two, it adds, for me, it adds as an um, extra layer of protection for the eyebrows to stay all day. I'm just going to go in and I'm going to powder contour my nose now. I am actually using a clean color, Airy Minerals bronzer. The color is mahogany. I absolutely love this. Once that's finished, we're gonna start finishing up the eyes, going in underneath the eyes, adding a pop of color to bring the entire look together. Underneath the glimmer at the top, we're going to add just a little bit of the same glimmer underneath the eye. This is the Vanity Cosmetics Glimmer. The color is neon, and I absolutely love it. You see how you, once you add the glitter, it transforms the eye and it makes it so much more fabulous. 
Once that's finished, we're gonna add a little mascara. Okay, so we're coming together very nicely. Once your eyes is complete, you're going to buff out all of that powder that we have setting to get a fabulous, fabulous finish. Make sure you buff it in. Once you're under the eye, don't sweep, just tap, 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 tap. I've learned sweeping creates a really harsh look, so tap it. This blush, I'm not sure what the name is, but I absolutely love it. I'm just gonna pop a little bit of that directly on the apples of our cheeks. Next, we're gonna go in with a contour color. It's by Mika K. The shade is chocolate, and I like to contour my face just to bring back in the warmth that the translucent um, powder may have casted out, just to add a little bit more dimension back into our face, we're going to contour all over. Going to go in with a Nika K Perfection Highlighter today. I absolutely love this highlighter. It is so pigmented and bright and it just adds um, to any look. And we're gonna add a little more highlight because I am extra. Just to the center of the nose and a little bit on the lip. The highlight is a beauty supply brand. I'm not sure what the name is because the label washed up, but I love it. I believe it's an Ion Magic or Magic Collection or something like that. I'm not sure. But we're gonna go in with Vanity Cosmetics Lip Nectar in the color Guru. It's a matte finish it's very pretty it's very bright it's long lasting waterproof and who doesn't love a good matte lipstick we're just going to put that all over our lips and line it out with a brown liner Yes, for the orange. Who loves an orange look? Now that our look is complete, let's get into this. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time.